just getting a really bad feeling that we need to go. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because I'm new to this. I'm getting a really, really bad feeling that we need to get out of here. I am going to be quitting this adventure for now. I'm definitely going to come back here, but I just had this sinking feeling and it's getting really dark and something just doesn't feel right. Like I just feel like I have to get out of here. Hey everyone, it's Heather. So I am just clearing this abandoned nursing home. I don't think anyone's in here, but I'm just making sure. So if you guys remember, if you've been here for a while, a few months ago, I filmed here and I had a panic attack and I'm returning to try to figure out why I had that panic attack, if it's because it was my first day exploring and I freaked out, or if I'm picking up on the feelings of the terrible things that happened here. So if you don't know about this place, it was shut down for the abuse of the elderly. And I wonder, am I picking up on the feelings of those patients because at the moment I have goosebumps and I have been to quite a few haunted locations um, over these past few months and nothing really gives me vibes like this building does. And what's very interesting about this place in particular is that so many people I talk to, even people who are absolute skeptics, say there is something about this building that there is something wrong here. This is probably the best room I've seen so far. There is no graffiti on the walls and the beds are still here. There's lots of water coming through the roof right there.
oh my gosh whenever I was here last these stalls were standing someone completely destroyed the bathroom like someone actually smashed this this is crazy <laughs> I don't know how they did this but here is the famous mirror That is heavy granite. I can't believe they did that. How do you feel? Sad, happy, mad? I would say that I'm not too freaked out this time. So I've come a long way. Um, I am a little bit shaky, a little on edge, but I would say I'm pretty happy to be here again. There is a very cool light fixture up there. Look at that. We're about to check out the floor that I had my panic attack in the video on. There's a view of the hospital. So this is the room where it all happened. And I was standing right here whenever I freaked out. Here's the cool phone on the wall. That was scary. It's just the wind, guys, just the wind. So I really wanna show you guys the view here. I just gotta be careful because I'm right by the window, but this is where you get the awesome shot of the hospital. So let's squat on over. You can see a room through here. See, I knew this place was haunted by ghosts. There's like a big walk-in closet here. This right here is interesting. I've seen these on all the closets. I think there was some kind of hanger. Wow, this is actually a big closet. You can like live in here. It's actually in really good shape too. I wouldn't chance stepping on it, but it's looking pretty good. So I think it's about time that we get to what I came here for, facing the basement. That's where shadow people have been seen and I want to go down there and I want to face it by myself and see what happens. Let's go do an EVP session.
there is the basement into the darkness. So you guys can't even tell, but this is probably the scariest place I have ever been in my life. My flashlight is acting up. There's a strange smell in here. I should have my mask on. Oh my God, my flashlight's going crazy. something's about to get me. I'm getting extremely bad vibes down here. Extremely. All right. So this is the rec room and who knows what's living down here. A really cool built in cabinet. I definitely feel the hair standing up on top of my head down here. here long. I need to have a mask on, but we need to do some EVPs. We're going to do that and get them out of here. Hello, my name is Heather. I came here today to spend some time with anyone who might be down here with me. I mean you no harm. I just came here to spend some time with you. If you're here with me right now, can you make your presence known to me? I want to thank you so much for talking to me today. I don't know if someone did or not, but if you did, thank you. And I hope you find peace because you deserve it. I decided to cut out most of this EVP session from this video because doing EVPs is a long process. You need to give the spirits enough time in between your questions to use their energy to answer them. So there's a lot of dead time, me just sort of standing around waiting for a response. So for that reason, I cut out a lot of the session. Another reason is that I unfortunately was unable to capture much evidence to share with you. We did capture that moment where there was a whisper that you could actually hear on my camera's microphone along with my recorder, which was really cool. And in the next session, I did capture what sounded like a few full sentences that were whispered, but because the audio was so faint and there was so much noise on the audio, I was unable to save it to where I felt good about presenting it to you as evidence that I found. This EVP session was for my own curiosity and it was a lot of fun and it added another element to this adventure. I just invite you to go out there and explore the unknown for yourself and to draw your own conclusion on whether you believe in spirits or not. In the future, if I'm ever able to get that audio cleaned up, and if it's interesting enough, I will upload that video then. Mm -hmm.